Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So the other day I did a Natasha uh, polymer clay kind of cane, right, technique. And what I'll do is I will link it at the end of this video and down below if you've not seen it. And I was asked to do uh, three or four different colors. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to show you. These are just leftover clay. And so this is obviously a green with some yellow in it, black with a little green in it, pink with a little blue in it, translucent with, uh, what's it called, silver foil, orange, some pink. We just kind of mixed them together. And what you do is we're just going to roll it. Now these are a little hard because they've been sitting here because I was going to do this video the other day and then I didn't. So the such is life, right? So that's about, you want them pretty even. That's about that. And then, then we're going to get on to do these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is look and see about the colors and the width. So this is what I made the other day. And what it is, if you can see, it is like half and half. So you see on this side, what you have on this side, you have on this side. What you have on this side, you have on this side. What you have on this side, you have on this side. You, on this side. you see, so... It's really a cool thing. I'm thinking about making this into a bracelet. Um, I got to see if I have a a slide or, a, you know, something because I really dig this. I might just uh, put holes in it and then tie like faux leather. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. That's why that's been sitting there. But what we're going to do now is I think I'm going to put, not think, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the black there and then the green and then the pink. So it kind of, I don't know, it kind of like distributes some different color, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you can see this one's longer. So very quickly, you just use both your hands and kind of pull outwards, right? And then you'll get, it'll grow. You just pretend like it's dough. And look, I have RA and fibro, so sometimes working with my hands is awful. And look, my nails. Uh, this one kind of cracked. This one broke because uh, I've just been playing and, and I really need to do my nails. <laughs> but I haven't been feeling well, so I didn't, I just really don't feel like it takes a minute to get these nails off because, I mean, they're my nails, but the polish is um, you, where you polish it and then you put on um, almost like a glitter. It's a uh, holographic glitter kind of thing. And then you got to paint over it and it's a pain. But anyway, okay. Who am I to complain? Nobody. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of push this boy. I did him a little bigger. Okay, so now what you do is put them together. What is that fuzzy? Okay, and we're going to twist it. Very, you know, remember when we were in school when you were little and you would do like, you know, you would have clay or whatever, even Play-Doh, and you'd put the colors together and you twist. Think of when you're starting out with polymer clay, because so many people are nervous. Think about when you were little and you played with Play-Doh. I mean, how much fun was it? How relaxing? And I mean, despite the smell. <laughs> See, I didn't warm these up enough. So his little, his little um, leg fell off. Come here, baby. I'm just going to put him back and just squish a little bit just a little bit if your hands hurt put it down and roll it 
but you see what we're going with here, right? So I'm going to give it a roll on all the sides. I'm just working on my Mod Podge, um, what is it called? Uh, hot glue mat. But, uh, you know, you can work on your regular mat, but I think mine had a lot of paint on it when I went to do these the other day. Now this is thick. Look at that. That's thick because of all the colors and you can even add more colors if you wanted to. Okay. So you can see we got this. Look how cool that looks. Now, if you want to stop here, okay. If you want to stop here, um, where to go? You can. So if I cut that there, you see how you have the four, the colors there. And if I smashed it, let's just see, because I don't have all the, you know, obviously the middle is going to have all the colors, the good colors, but you can definitely start at this point. Maybe you don't want it to be as twisted as I'm going to do it. So you can see this is the end and the ends usually kind of get thrown in the crap pile for me, which is a pile where clay goes to die <laughs> until I'm ready to make a, maybe I'm going to do a face or maybe I'm going to do something that, um, I want to use, you know, I need like a middle core, uh, and I don't have foil or something. You can use this, but look now, you know, when it's like that, you just kind of go in and push it. I mean, this is a really pretty So you can use this in different ways and these are fun to do with the kids too. Okay. So anyway, I'm done playing. I'm going to set this aside because who knows what I'm going to do with that. I enjoy things like that, but now that you have this, we want to make it smaller. So we are going to go like this and put it in the middle and very easy easy and a little, my cat must have been up here. <laughs> and you're going to squeeze it down. And you see how you kind of have the colors on the same. That's not going to matter too much because we are going to cut it and whatever we have on this side will be on this side. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take whatever you're rolling out with. This is my fondant roller that I bought with a coupon on clearance at Michael's. This is that Duff Bakes or whatever the heck it's called. And it was on clearance. And I was like, yes, please. I use it for clay. Turn it this way. Give it a little. Okay. And then we're going to push it up into each other. smash it a little and then I'm going to roll it out. Oh, I, I'm loving. Let's see if you guys can see. Look at this. That's the foil and the other colors mixed together. That is gorgeous. Can't see it on that side, but gorgeous. Just want everything to kind of get together. this again. So you can see, see what happens when you don't condition and that's all right. It's not gonna, you know, we're just playing. We're just playing. I'm gonna get it back into a semi snake and I'm not going to twist it again. I don't think, I don't know. We'll see how this comes out. Maybe I'll do half and half and show you. All right. So then you want to put it in like a square. And what I'm going to do, I think is I'm going to cut this in half and then I'm going to put this half here and we'll continue doing this one. 
we'll roll it. And then I want to put it in a square. So I'm going to pinch the side as I'm going down. I'm going to kind of push this down. I want it to be four sides like a square. And turn it. You want to push this down. Turn it. And you see you're starting to get your square shape. Turn it again. Okay. So you could take your roly poly and just give it some help. Not pushing too hard, but I'm just doing it to straighten it out. Okay. So you see that. So let me show you. See that it's square. I'm going to lay it there. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go in as half as I can. You can measure it if you want to be completely precise. I probably am not doing it right. Oh, see, I was way off. So I'm going to turn it that way and pretend like we didn't do that. I'm horrible with measuring. We'll go like this. Do our best. And then press down. Give it a wiggle. A little back and forth. Oh yeah. Then look what we got. So now we're gonna butt them up together. Oh yeah. And oh, I could sit and play all day with clay. I'm a beastie boy rhymer. I could sit all day and play with the clay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And before I go to do much to it, let's see. See how cool it looks? Okay, so now I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to just very carefully roll it. Now, let me tell you, when you see the other video, if you already saw it or you're going to see it, I used water and when everything was sticking, I was like, okay, um, you know, spray water. It helps things not stick. It works good. I didn't use any water on here because I made these the other day and they sat and as they sat, because it's been 90 here and then it's been 40 here and sat and it can, it, I want to say congealed up, but it didn't, it just got, um, you know, hard. <laughs> I don't know. That's what she said. I don't know. I'm going to turn it this way. You can see this, you know, has its own kind of pattern, but it's not what we're going for. I just like giving it a roll. And then you have this beautiful pattern. Beautiful. And you can see, and that's because I didn't continue what I'm going to continue now with the other one. So you see this and the best part is because like, look, you got this part. Look how it matches the black matched the green matched and I can go in and I can really see now it's starting to stick because I have warm hands, but I can really stretch it out that way. I could take it this way and, you know, really flatten it. And then use this for jewelry. I can cut in pieces. You could do whatever you want. Okay. I'm really digging that piece. But what happens if we twist this again? Okay. Now you're going to see it's going to continue on. It's going to look a little different. So I'm twisting it. It's breaking a little. I'm okay with that. I'm going to do this. And you can already see, see how it's kind of like candy cane-ish. And I'm going to twist it one more time. Just because. And then I'm going to, I'm going to cut it again. And then roll it out. Okay. And this time, do I want to? 
Yeah, let's do this one more time. So I'm going to bring that tail up again. Go like that. Okay, so now I'm going to squish it in my hands. My hands are going to hurt later. I'll tell you that for doing a couple, but I don't care because I love it. The payoff is good. I'm going to squish it a little bit. And one thing with polymer clay, you see, here we are. And if I just take my hands and you see how I'm just kind of pushing it, it'll start to bend, straighten it up, and then do it again. Okay. Now I'm going to go into my square. So I'm going to give it a push. Flattens on both sides. You can give it a little... And if you don't have one of these, use a bottle, a paint bottle, a Pam, a uh, cooking spray bottle, whatever you have. I'm going to push that down. You can see this one, I'm being a little more um, quick and, you know, you don't have to be so precise because you get a cool look anyway. Okay, so you see we have our square. Now I'm going in, I'm going to cut it halfway the best that I can and just kind of rock it, open it, open it. And look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Did you see it smash? Hey, it happens. So then I'm going to put the pieces side by side, which if you don't move it, when you turn it over, it won't, you know, it'll match fine. I'm going to push down almost like wood grain. A little push and then lift up and then that's what you get. I mean, look how cool that is. So, you know, picture yourself and you can see this is what the back looks like. I like showing you the back because I think it gives you another kind of thing like okay like we see this and we're like that's really cool but like let's say you only use half of this for something maybe you're covering something or whatever and you're only using half you have a whole other look with a piece of cat hair I, that's the piece i could not get out come on now i know this is enjoyable and i'm so sorry but if you are a cat owner you know the struggle with cat hair okay you know, so then you use this side as something else because that's equally as good. You can make earrings out of this side and then a pendant out of here. And because they're the same colors, they're going to match. Do you see what I'm saying? Think of things that, um, you know, you normally, you know, wouldn't think of. So I'm going to put that there. And then last we have this. So what I'm going to do with this one is right where it's at, I'm going to, with that one, I turned it up one more time. I'm not, I think this one. I'm going to twist it again. I like all this. I think once this is glazed or resined, it's going to be beautiful, which we will see. It reminds me of the inchy worms, but this one I'm going to push together. I'm not going to flatten it. I'm going to leave it like this because that's the fun of clay. You don't always have to follow, you know, if you need instruction, of course, Watch somebody, me, whoever. Some people don't like watching me, and that's okay. Um, you know, sometimes you just don't jive with certain people. But, you know, the fun part is to play. And to play, and clay is one of the fun things, and it's fun to do with the kids. Summer's coming. And how much fun is this with the kids? You give everybody their own colors, and you can buy, like, a Sculpey pack with, uh, different colors in it and have a blast. You split them up amongst the kids pieces and you give them and then you cut them or you give them a play knife, one of the plastic play knives and you play. I don't know. I'm all for that. I think the kids need stuff to do other than play on their phones or the TV. So once a week you do this with the kids or some sort of art, even it doesn't necessarily have to be this. And, uh, you know, I think you're winning. All right. So you could see it's a square. I mean, this end isn't, but 
I'm going to push them a little closer. I'm going to, and you can always, you know, do this, which I normally do, but today I'm just so excited to cut that. Okay. And you see the reason you do it, you want it to be, you know, the same kind of thing there. We're going to go in and cut it. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, I cut kind of uneven. One's fatter than the other, so I'm going to just push it down a little bit because I got so excited. And then I'm going to just... Yeah, there you go. O-M-G. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm turning... All right, so I'm going to roll for a minute because I want to seal this. It's starting to get a little sticky because I'm so. And rolling it with a, whatever you roll it with will help seal up. But come on, look how cute. Look at that. Look at this up here. It almost is alien. Like, I can't stand it. Look at this. So you have this. I wonder if I could hold everything. You have this. <laughs> You have this, and you have this. This is called fanciness. Kelly's fancy today. Kelly cannot make the clay stay on her arm because her arms are hairy. Look, look at this. I'm coming out. So you made, you used the same colors. You see the same thing, and look at the three different things we made. Now, come on. Okay, so that is that. How much fun. So well, let me ask you guys, would you like a little giveaway of some clay? Now, let me see what colors I can do, which I think what I'm going to do is give you four colors, four colors. And because I think this is really cool. I think we need a black and a white a green and a pink. I think I'm going to do these same colors. Now I have to look through all my stash. Purple, but I'm not going to do that right this second because it'll take me forever. And if I don't, whatever I don't have, I will go by. But let's have a contest. Share me on Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest. Share this video and then put down below where you shared me. And tag me if, you know, so I can see it. Instagram as well. Um, yeah, do that. And then put your thing down below. Your, you know, yes, I shared you on blah, blah, blah. And then you will be entered. I'm not going to make anybody do raffle copter or anything like that because a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people don't, um, you know, they don't exactly know how to use it or what have you. So I think this one, now I'm already having a giveaway and it is on, um, the markers from jet pens. It's on these and I'll link that down below. And at the end of this video, if you've not already entered rules are the same as this, uh, to win, you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to uh, spread me around a little bit, okay? And then you just put it down below and then you're good to go. Today is Tuesday, so I like to do it usually seven days. So I will pull the winner next Tuesday. And then it will be for the jet pens, the Molotov uh, pens. It will be this Saturday will be the winner. Do you see what I'm saying? So you have two contests going on on my channel. So, you know, and like I said, look at this. Look how cool. All right. So, and let me show you the other, just so you get an idea. These all came out so awesome and I'm going to make something with them and then I'll, I'll show you after I do that. But as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Don't forget to enter the contest. You will get four colors to play with. Um, and depending on what I find, uh, you know, I'll, might let you just pick your colors out of, I'll like send you a picture of what I got and you pick your four colors. That might be better. I don't know. But like I said, 
look, this is progress, not perfection. Look how much fun. You know, I like bang for your buck. And this is bang for your buck. I mean, you get just from four pieces of scrap clay that I had. So like I said, I love you guys so very much. And I just could never, you know, I could never just express how much I love you guys. And if you're new to my channel and you would like to be subscribed, subscribe down below, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to it, all of you. If you're watching this video, click the bell because for some reason, YouTube's not putting subscriptions through and people aren't getting it even on their email. You got to click the bell now. I don't know. But if I have a lot of giveaways coming up. So if uh, you would like to, you know, be aware and be included, click that bell and subscribe. And I love you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.